Hello, it's Misha Stefan Carson, August Fortune Go Pod Creely Taurus. My name's Stefan Carson and welcome to the Taurus Podcast. It's Pod Creely Dachyanke Shaw at Agriha Ictaurus and Grupa Gaelica at in Erville First Year. This is a bilingual podcast that has been organised and arranged by Taurus, the Irish language group in East Belfast. In Sakate Clar Shaw Bimage Iglorch La Copla Fulamore Dargodge. Be a jig file a mark for Tahi a talku full and gaelic gigi show, a moy less than a fahna a hussy shirik full and gaelic. So, in this first episode, we're going to be talking to a few of our learners. We're going to be finding out about their experience learning Irish, as well as some of the reasons that they started learning Irish. Or in case of cheese, be a jig lorch la dinner tag full and gaelic, la couple of menus, those tashens a bun rangana, or as I say, shin mark. Firstly, we're going to be speaking to Mark. Mark is a Beginner learner with Interus, he's been learning now for a couple of months. So, Mark, Paul Jess Jack, Kajemer Tati. Ah, Tommy are winning the Mika, woohoo! August Ka has two. It's as Banaker, me. Into my August Cabal to the Honey. Tommy Mahoney and Banaker. Into my. So, Mark, in a stew, Rudbug, Fuat Hain, so tell me a little bit about yourself. So, my name's Mark, I grew up in Bangor, but my family come from East Belfast, so I've got connections to this area. Um, I have travelled quite a bit as well, so I've lived in different countries, like Mexico, Thailand, Australia, New Zealand, England, so I have done a little bit of travelling in my times, um, but now I'm back in good old East Belfast. Very good, very good. Back to where you, you really always wanted to be. That's it, back to where it all began, you know. In the way. August, can or a hussy to a phone and gain When did you start learning Irish? Um... With yourself, your fair self in September in the, in the course. Um, obviously, growing up in East Belfast and Bangor, you don't really have an opportunity to learn it. Mm-hmm. Um, it's almost seen as something foreign. Mm-hmm. It's something that the other side do, and it's not to be entertained. So I guess I didn't really have an exposure to it growing up. Um, the first time I sort of was exposed to it was actually living in England, believe it or not. So drinking in Irish pubs and, you know, Pug Mahone was one of the pubs in Liverpool. So that sort of taught me some words. Um, and I actually made friends with a boy from South Armagh mm-hmm. um, who was an Irish Gaelgar and went to the um, Gael Talk. And th- he told me all about the experiences he had and it was something that I'd never was given the opportunity to do. Mm-hmm. So that was kind of the first um, exposure, if you like. And then just from travelling, um being asked constantly oh you're from ireland do you speak irish no i don't actually because it's not something we're taught okay um so very interesting and i suppose uh, was that idea that this was something that maybe you weren't familiar with what uh what was that spark to get you in through the door um i can't remember what exactly i I was actually i was making a video from a youtube Mm -hmm. and this is actually one of my videos is on indian orge road and i was walking past and I actually mentioned this place as, you know, it's kind of an unusual um, feature that there's a loyalist area and you've got a an Irish language school. Mm-hmm. So um, I mentioned that and that sort of got me thinking, maybe I should try and learn it. Because I actually made reference to it and I said, well, maybe one day I'll learn it. And then I looked up the courses and then I just thought, why not? Mm-hmm. You know, there's no time at the present. You know, it's I'm 40 years old and I guess I'm a late learner in that regard, but... You know, there's never too late a time to, to learn. Absolutely. You're definitely not the youngest in our class, or the oldest in our class, and you're not the youngest either, you know. Yes. And that's a great thing, I think, about these classes, is that it is, you know, from 8 to 80, and probably a wee bit beyond, which is a brilliant thing. Um, well, could you tell me a too? You're a hui to us, Jack, Higgin Rang, and Kate Hoover. So how did you feel when you went into the class for the first time? I was a bit nervous, but, you know, yourself made us feel at ease and, you know, it was actually a lot more fun than I was expecting. I wasn't sure what to expect. Mm-hmm. Um, and there was p- people like me who had no, little or no sort of um, exposure to it before. So it was good to be with people that were like myself. Not the way. August, could you tell me how the rang in your goal and tell us how the, how the class is going for you at the minute? Because you're six, seven months in now, so... Have you been completely put off, or are you, is the spark still there? Um, it's it's definitely still there, um, and I'm sort of looking at other extracurricular activities to do to boost that. Mm-hmm. Um, I went over to the cafe in North Belfast. Oh, the, in the Moy. 
Cafe Kill and just because I guess if you're learning Irish, you can't just walk into the local spa and talk to the shopkeeper in Irish because it's not that widely spoken. But maybe in certain parts of Belfast or in those cafes where there's there's an effort. So mm-hmm. And is that something that you feel is important as a learner that you have access to, you know, Irish speaking services, whether it be coffee shops or bookshops or pubs or whatever it may be? Absolutely. Because, you know, you can go to classes once a week and learn Mm -hmm. the basics, but unless you put it into practice, you know, you're not getting the chance to really, you know, use it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. No, I would agree with you there. And a bit of Morocco score is a sort of a last word. What would you like to do in the future with regards to Irish? What's what's your, your next steps? Um, I'd like to practice more and maybe go on a Gale, Gale talk adventure to Donegal, like my friend from South Armagh did, and maybe just, yeah, just get to use it. And I don't think I'll ever be fluent, but you never know. You never know. My view here, and I'll go to my good Mark asked chat you. Thanks very much for coming today. Go to my good Stefan. I'll go slan for it. Slan. August and this bimage glorious lit dinner or hussy fallen gaelica or a malov. August shin sid. Sid, false yes, Jack. Could you murder to? Tommy are win the mica in you. Um, August to hain mahara. Tommy go moi go moi get. So Sid, cast to. Uh, is as sausen me in the moi. A couple to the honey anish. Uh, anish. Uh, Tommy mahoney in um a hervel first yeah in the moi. Kian or a hussy to ik fallen gaelica. When did you start learn Irish? September. <laughs> Moi who? Man four. There you are. So literally four or five months in? Yes. Very good. August, Ken Fa or Hussey Tuk Fulham Gaelic. Why did you start learning Irish? I, I think for me, um, you know, I, I studied languages at university, um, so I've always been interested in languages, so that's number one reason. I, I think for me as well, um, I think there was something very important about learning like an ancient language and doing my best to sort of like preserve it Mm -hmm. in whatever way I can as a keen linguist. Um, But I also felt as well that learning an ancient language like this would give me uh, an intangible connection to, to the, to the people and to the land um, that I now call my new home. Oh, (laughs) <laughs> very nice, very nice indeed. Quite um, poetic. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Um, you've been learning now a couple of months, maybe four or five months. What was it like coming in for the first time into your first Irish class? It was really weird. It was really weird because obviously, you know, I do have this daft English accent and it was quite noticeable that everybody else did, definitely did not sound like me. So I was like, my immediate first thing, feeling was like, oh, what, what the hell am I doing here? Like, is this right for me? Is this, you know, like, you know, but I think for me, one of the things was that um, some of the videos that I'd watched on the tourist website about um, the cross com- cross community um, vibes of the place um, really like. I really felt it when I entered it. As soon as I entered the classroom, like people were talking, people were really welcoming. And I think that honestly speaks so highly of my sort of experience here in 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 Northern Ireland. Um the people the people and the place is just a really class place to be and the class is class. <laughs> way. Um you sort of I think one of the things that I've noticed, you know, being your teacher, sort of seeing you in the class is you've obviously you've come to learn Irish, but you've started to form a wee bit of a social group. Yes. Do you care to give like maybe a wee bit of an overview of, of that aspect of the class? Yeah, definitely. I think um, so. I moved here without w- no rhyme nor reason. Um, fancied a change, and I thought I would go for something a little bit wild like Belfast. Um, Very good. But I'd still be able to keep my cushy civil service pension and job. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, I, for me, it was, you know, one of the key objectives was forming social connections. Um, and, you know, how do you do that as an adult? Um, and you do that by getting involved. Um, just in terms of the social activities and stuff, um, sometimes me and a couple of pals from the, from, from the class, um, 
we we have a uh, club Oberwalla, <laughs> as cringe as that sounds. Um, just to kind of run through the work together, I've often found that that sort of group environment um, nice. works really well for me. Um, and it gives me an opportunity to go away, look at the material and think about more questions to trouble you with. Um, the social aspect as well, like we go for like a couple of pints. We've gone for um, an Irish language play um, in um, Kulchalan, um in West Belfast. Mm -hmm. um, that really brought the language alive for me. I think up until now, I think there's this sort of perception that the Irish language is a dead language and it's not really used, especially here in the North. Um, that could not be further from the truth. Um, genuinely going to a play like that, and it was all talking about very current issues, about gay culture and 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 going out uh, as queer people, all very relevant to my life. Um, it, yeah, just really brought home how relevant this language is on this island and yeah it was it was really really cool really really cool so doing stuff like that i think definitely i really enjoy it and the social aspect of it like you say is a big part of sort of the motivation to continue with mm -hmm. this further no i think that's very important and something that we have noticed um within paris is a lot of people are either as you said learn together club club or walla i love it <laughs> um you know, and we do have reading groups, and as you said, just that social aspect of going out for a few beers after class. Yeah. Maybe if your teacher's been doing something <laughs> heavy, they might be needed. I'm not too sure. Um, I suppose where would you like to go with the language? So obviously you're started now. What's your is? Your, have you any goals, for instance? Yes, I think I would like to reach a point where I can comfortably converse with people. Mm -hmm. Um. After that, I'm not entirely sure where I would take this, but I think it would be nice to have this sort of like rubber stamped in one way or another, be that GCSE, A-level, whatever, mm -hmm. something like that. I think that would definitely give me that level of confidence. But I think more importantly for me, it's about connecting with the people and the land and being able to converse with people in their native tongue. Um, and I think there's a real beauty to that that I really want to be part of. And the way. And finally, what advice would you have for somebody learning Irish for the first time? Don't be intimidated. It all looks very strange and all the rules don't make sense. But it, 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 like other people have said, it, it, it all eventually clicks. And when that clicks, there's a sort of magic and you can just embrace it all. And the Gurumila Maigat said. Gurumila Maigat. August and Ish, Bemidig Lorch, Le Fulmor, Tag Fulum Gaelige, and Sean Purus, Le Breshis Blainus, August and Paula McAleese. Paula, what is that new? Can you remember that? Tell me, go hintach. Go on, my god. To him. Oh, tell me, go my god, my god. Paula, in a stew, rod bug food, him. Let the hull. Is Misha Paula? Is as an dunme? E argvik naska. Ach, tell me, mahoni. Er her fell first year. Um, to birchwak ogum. Is Arwini May, uh, Shannon, uh, e Grupa Kuhl, uh, and to my. So Paula, can you a hussy to a fulum gilliga? Uh, hussy may a fulum uh gilliga couple of blaino hen. And to my August, can fa or hussy to a fulum gilliga? Uh, hussy may a fulum gilliga, uh, v sim inchi, uh, Agoni. Uh, as well as that, um, some of my friends speak Irish and I wanted to be able to understand them and to speak with them. Into my, into my. August, could you tell me and Cade Rang and Sean Paris, how was your first class whenever you arrived in the Paris for the first time? Well, I'd only done Zoom before, mm -hmm. so when I started actually coming in to... Uh, class here, um, female Ian took nervous. I know you were nervous, uh, can't you? Into my, but hopefully, you got over your nerves when the first lesson or so. Red, into my good teacher, into my very good, into my, um, Tatosa Igjanu and Gay KSA, so you're doing the GCSE at the minute. Mm -hmm. How are you finding that? 
to say Jacker Galer. Um I am glad that I've started it. Mm-hmm. Um it's definitely a steeper learning curve than I thought it was mm-hmm. gonna be. Uh but I'm really enjoying it and I can't you know, it's taught you know, it's really teaching me a you know at a fast pace. Mm-hmm. There's a lot in it and I'm getting a lot out, out of it. In the money. And Nervous and GKSA Creek Nogut when you have the mm-hmm. GCSE over you. Because mm-hmm. then Kid Camello, what's the next step? Oh, uh, A level, can't you? Oh, at the moy, moy who hein? So your exams are something that really interests you, uh, or mm, give maybe value out of of that way of learning. Yeah, um, my kind of goal has always been to be able to speak it fluently. Um, and if I get a couple of, you know, gold stars and qualifications on the way, then even better. Very good. No, very good indeed. And what about the Gael Talk? Is that somewhere? Have you been to the, on route to the Gael Talk Rio? Have you ever been to the Gael Talk? Ni aki mei. The while you're on goal. At the moi. Ach, ta clan So it wouldn't, there'd be quite a lot of organisation, I would say. Fun for all the family, perhaps? Fun for all the family. Yeah. My who him, very good. And finally, I'd just like to ask you if you have any advice for somebody who's starting out learning Irish. Um, what would you? What would be your advice to somebody who maybe wants to start out or maybe yeah. interested in starting out? I think if you've never, like myself, um, learned Irish before, um, it can be very intimidating. It's mm-hmm. It's... The grammar rules are hard and the spelling, when you first look at it, you think, how am I ever going to pronounce that? Mm-hmm. But you get so much enjoyment out of it clicking because it will click. Mm-hmm. So you ju- my biggest advice is just keep at it. Mm-hmm. Just give it a good few months. Don't think this is really hard. I'm not going to be able to do this because that's how I felt. Mm-hmm. And then you'll, things will start to make sense and things will start connecting and you will love it. In the way, my who hain. Paula, gyrra mila moigat as chak nyu. To hain. In the way, gyrra moigat. Agus anish, be mage aglorch le dinna thag fulm geelige in Sean Purrus le gav lena nus. Agus ta si in sa van rang eichterach agus sin jain. Jain, fol chas chak, kichemar tatu. Ta me hoof sas de la pibra agus ta seela wadi wain agam. In the way, my who hain. Edian, it is two road bog food hen, let the whole. Well, Rogu Agus Togu, a dish cart bell first to me, Agus Fuilaher, Tami Mahoney, a gyanter, Darabanyam Cairns Hill, a jer carried off Agus and Bohor Ormo, Tami or score, Ba Wincher me, a skull worn a Brehe Christi, um, Tami Nice Gruhianish, John Potter Act, Agus, Tami a Frastel er Rangana Flamenco. <laughs> oh, and my hair fat. My hair. August Tammy of Fulham Gilliga, Kinsha. August um, Ta Birch Garfast Yogum. August Tammy in Tokrutach. And my, my who hain. Jean, a Kahur or Hossi to a Fulham Gilliga. Um, Hossi may have Fulham Ga Vlian or Hen. And my, my who hain. August Kian Fa or Hossi to a Fulham Gilliga. Um, Shilam go will she in my DNA. In the way. Um, is Graal am an Severus Changa. Um, na logan naha, mar kahru i du, an sruhan milish, leam an wadi. Um, agus madjur leish an berlin a heran, ta se an usaj o la go la. In the way, moi hu hien. Um, ka jay mar a vi an ced rang gerega, jian? Um, Nur hanig me gudji an hiedrang, vi me intok nervishach, och vi gachtena an hardjil agus falchach, agus spreg shid me, vi an wincher in spirajach. Intamoy. Tishin tawatach agoni. Intamoy. Em. In a stu rodbug, em. Fwin the rangani gudji shaw, kajimera ta an the rangani, agus kajimera ta fulm the gelige. So tell me a little bit just about, em, learning. Up until now, your experience learning, mm-hmm. how the classes are and how they've been for you, how it's, how it's been to be learning Irish, I suppose. 
Okay, well, the classes are sometimes challenging in a good way. They're always great crack. Am sus break time always comes at the right time because my brain always starts to get frazzled at that point. And cup and tea, August brisky are a great comfort. Um, the first challenge was really putting my foot in the door and then saying my first Irish word out loud in class. And whenever I realised that people actually understood what I was saying, my confidence grew. Um, and my advice to anybody learning Irish would be come to class, have a go, take linguistic risks. So what if it's not correct? Nobody judges. Learn one expression a day or one word and use it. For example, last week I learned is fedgerlum. So I walked around the house saying is fedgerlum and then I added on activities to that. But most of all, when saltas narangana. Into my my hu hien. Very good. Now, Ba Wunshor Changa, who you were a language teacher, how does it compare teaching language? I think you taught and Spanish, Douglas and Rankish, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. French and Spanish. How does it compare between teaching a class and being on the other end of the, the, the classroom, being a learner? Well, when I was teaching, I always said to the boys, learn five or ten words a day. And when the teacher says that to me in class, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I forget. So do now do I as I say, don't do as I exactly, do. Exactly, exactly. And I always started every Monday's class with the A-level boys saying, tell me what you did at the weekend. And they never seemed to be able to answer it. And now when the teacher says to me, when Francis, my mentor, says to me, what did you do last week? I don't have it prepared. <laughs> so I understand perfectly, but too late how my pupils felt. <laughs> Very good. No. Um Obviously, as a language teacher, you learned an awful lot of strategies, or you were teaching mm-hmm, strategies mm-hmm. for language learning. I suppose you've said there that you don't, you aren't following your your own advice. I can absolutely not. <laughs> but is there anything that has maybe benefited you from your previous sort of profession when you're learning Irish now? Learn something every day and practice it, practice it, practice it. Clack to, clack to, clack to. It's the only way to do it. And my mind you him. Um. So Ba Winger, who is full more in this so you're, you were a teacher, you're a, a learner now. Could you and call you a way to get dug in a tag, plus you can make a full and get So um, what advice would you have for somebody starting out to learn Irish now? Um, don't judge yourself harshly. Mm-hmm. Take it step by step. There will always be people better than you and not as good as you. Mm-hmm. So just work at your own pace. And listen to the teacher. My who in August Morocco scores a last word. Could you? 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 August and Nish, by Major Glorch Ladina, a task in Ardrang in Harris, August a task in a mantor, Fosta, August Shin Heather. Heather, Fosta is Jack, could you tell me? Oh, Tommy Gobra, Gormagat, August to Hena Stephen. Tommy Gomoy Gormagat. Heather, Inish do rud bug foot hain, little hull. Well, Tommy or Skur and Ish, Vime and Mustach Servishach. Um, Tommy Posta, Agastan Yina Wainagam, Ax Wilach or Tommy Gaffa. Um, Lesh and Gillig. And well, uh-huh. the Moy is my name, Shinnick Listel. Cast to you, Heather. Um, is as, um, is as Monster Buan, Oduchus May, a Tommy and Mahoney and Manacher, um, Le Trichoblian and Ish. And the Moyer thought. Heather, in a show, do Keen Ur a Hussy to a Fulham Gillig? Well, um, Mark Hodgmore, the Dini Yata, Gulum, Eturus, Nero Gillig, or Isle, or File, Nuravisha. Nervi Meishkal. Um, Visim Gamor Ugum, Ichangacha, Agus Jarme Kad, Ermo Wacher, um, Go Gaelic A Olam, Ach Vi Bahuris An Yakar A, um, Go Eher Belfasta, Irina Shakti, um, Agus and Chin New Rome Abelta, Gaelic A Olam, um, Ach Sablian Nijeg Nochtu, Agus Misha Gabers of Russell, Hanik Me R Rangana. As a cacher hen, I guess a rye lumza. Into my, my hand. So, hussy took full of and shin. And shin, she. Into my. August Kinner or hussy took full of and shaw in Taurus? Uh, Gavlian o hen. Gavlian o hen. Gavlian o hen, yeah. Into my, August 
So, what are you doing with your yoga? I'm going to go to Taurus. 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 I'm going to Mar um mar chanig me sawala um karu falch esfika ruam vigachten ye into karjul into kudjul vialam tachyacht ar file um es es moilam ave ag all te irian sauce agus tamian an bulu ladini ella a tag folum agus bedger um ave a grunch. A grinch a tourist hen, yo. And to my and to my father, August Vitosa or or tourist gale talkta, a nari linye go kanta kiri. V. August kizemra vision. A vision go hentach, vision go hentach. Um, a vimujan an um tourist yanu enach ach, August v v an an ad more again. Um, sagert um olach. A ve linza dan kudjus mo dan ama agus vishe an an winyu um ready similar fuinach agus bomwaila me. Ento mo ento mo yar fad. Hamoila shin ta tosa edo wantor an shaw an taras an feds lat kur shi so horch do er er shin kje an rule to gus agus kje ken ken yar rodi a yalan tu mar mar wantor. Okay, well, it's it's role symbol A. I guess um, um, we may uh, role costume near we may a gubber. I guess we may a gubber lemo co lachty. I guess an shin she lem go go will may a gubber lemo co halty. I guess near we may a swing you er S A an fuckal is tabachta co tamaj a gubber lechela tamaj in our dachyacht. Ta grip a bug agam um, vi truer agus an ish nilach birch dini an agus dan cudjus mood an ama ba mwaila lamenti mara togter aid um, a vea glarch um, is ach slan savulcha e an ach mentorachta agus ta ta lamenti an an bedger botjuna yanu agus kestjuna kar um, urum um, Agus bugging grammar uh, a dulcier dulcier. Ach beimir jig lurch. Agus gach shachtan bedger um, ta our differul on mar hampla shuloid. Arin mud no um, edges. Arin mud soala. Agus mar shen ta lan crack bunch less. Agus ta lan spray. Ach is fedgerlam um, is fedgerlam feckle go will nementi a Dull con kin, um, lesh a kodj gelga, agus ta an am winyan ag fas gumoy. In the moy, moy hu hien, in the moy er fad. Um, ta kopla keis ta ella agum sa, ar nyo ya ta tos ag fulm gelga ansha ala tamal. A mean tu, a mon simmer bi agat sa, skru di hien, ar rada bi mishin, an yarna tu skru du gelga reo? Well, rin me, um, Ma a a s agus a da a ri an pan dem ni ro ni ro um an cajin cu agam riven pan dem ach ni ro ach stadji ar yanu igan am sha agus kahat an yarna tu in skudi hishin well a rin me a a s lesh an an di vacha an a da lesh an brichid lesh an brichid an brichid an brichid an brichid an brichid an brichid Ah, uh, vise an jacker. An ro. Dar lamsa. Ah, uh, blint o hen min rin me a level. Um, sarankish agus a shermanish agus vise vise um vise an the frill anish. Um, rin muj na skrudacha in yelik agus vise well vise doyenta dusa. An ro. Agus ar wahi tu guru shen kaju ditch o hiv ni gelegida ar wahi tu guru. Four six chapter the hus gaelic and Marial and the Scrudy here. Well, bedger nach Marial and the Scrudy here. Um, ach Marial er an tach an tachyacht um a form a worme o mo luchardje um an rud an rud is similar 
Adusa, Fui Mukara, Slash Angelica, Rin Me, Alan Karja, um, Tredge Nagelica, Agus Vimwood in Artachiocht, Irina, Irina Scrooge, Agus Rudy Marchen, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mit mei. Agus in kest jær nok at tog om det. Kæn kål jeg. Er vel agat da Ole Moriella. Jæring ag bærbue. Nabi nabi ag torch søs. Agus tosse ag bulle le le fibrene lo um, ag ag mochem go well aspam union agat. Ta gach dinje ag mochem um, an an doi kærne. Ta muj alle er an tørres hæn. Ent mei, mei hu hien. Heather Grimmel Margaret as she the new. Um Grimmel Margaret has chat. Ha harja shinna wo login. So for Kelly Shaw. That's all we have for this podcast today. Grimmel Margaret August slang file.